Unicorns and glitter and taxidermy critters are just some of the things they like. They also enjoy 80s hair bands, Grizzly Adams and John Goodman, so if you think that's weird then you can take a hike. But the things they enjoy the most are making art and cracking jokes. So without further ado, here are your hosts. You've got your two artsy gals, your two artsy gals. Here are your two artsy gals. Hey everybody, this is Katie. And this is Lonnie. And you're listening to Two Artsy Gals. Yay! Yay! So, yeah, Valentine's Day is coming. Mm-hmm. Do you guys do anything for Valentine's Day? Do you, like, make your husband take you out and do fun mm-hmm. stuff? I'm not a fan and... of trying to go out on Valentine's Day because that takes too much planning. I usually just get him some treats and stuff. It's I'm baking low treats key. this year. Nice. <gasps> Did I tell you what I bought? It got it shipped this morning. I got an anatomically an anatomical heart cookie cutter. Cool. So I'm going to try, I'm trying to get good at, at icing cookies, like using like oh. the royal icing and stuff. I know. Did you see Rachel's? Oh, I'll have to send you. Oh my gosh. The fiber artist we're going to mm-hmm. interview hopefully at some point. Um, Yeah. Her cookies were beautiful. Like little art. How could you eat what? it? What? Send me pictures. Yeah, I want to so see. so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get that good. Mm-hmm. I want to be that good at icing cookies. I do too. I know. It's, it's awesome. So I think I did okay at at uh, Thanksgiving. I made those turkeys. Oh yeah, yeah. And I, that was royal icing, and yep. it turned out pretty all right. Yeah, so you did. I'm feeling confident. Yeah, I'm doing it. You do it. I'm doing it. Good job. And then make some heart cookies. Aww. Freak people out. <laughs> My mom's freaking out. I have to make her more of those, the, the Sprints cookies mm, because yeah. she didn't get to eat any at Christmas. Why? Because they're so fucking good that by yeah. the time my mom stopped like moving long enough to enjoy more than the one or two that she had when I opened the box, they she didn't gone. get any. They were gone. But the new cookie press that I got has a heart shaped one. So I think Aww. I'm going to make her some heart shaped Sprints cookies. Although she likes the one with the cinnamons in them. I still have to find my spritzer. Dang it. I just bought a new one. Yeah. They're not that expensive. I bought a hand press because, you know, in years past, I'd been using those battery operated ones and they break. I had a screw one. Yeah. I just have one that has like a little. Oh. It's made by Wilton. It just has like a little trigger one. I'll have to look that up. It's awesome. I miss though because it had the arching cat. You know? Oh, I didn't have one of those. And it had a camel. It had weird random. Weird. Yeah. So I'm like, I need to find it. Mine has a pumpkin. Cute. That's not it, but. <laughs> Are you going to sneeze? I was going to, but apparently I'm not now. <laughs> tease. I'm hoping this cold's gone next sneeze, week. Sneeze, tease. I hate that. Yeah, I do too. It's <laughs> like, you know, my eyes are watery and they won't stop. Got blue this nose cold. instead of blue balls or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. <laughs> Because now I feel like, oh, I feel like I was robbed. I was robbed, Lonnie. I was robbed of my sneeze. Oh. I hope this cold's gone by Valentine's Day. Yeah. How unromantic. Right? Yeah. My husband and I always go. We have a tradition. Yeah. We go to our favorite Chinese food restaurant. Aw. Golden Touch on, I think it's BHH, Beaverton Hills Still Highway. Uh-huh. Wait, not the Golden Touch. Why the fuck did I say that? It's the Golden Crown. That's why. Because it's Golden Golden. It's Golden okay. Crown. It's over by the Target in that little area on Beaverton Hillsdale Highway. There used to be one called the Golden Fountain, and I always thought that was kind of funny. Because it was like tea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Like, that's... Yeah. We always go there, and then we go to the cheapy movie theater <laughs> oh, over nice. by Jesuit High School, and we watch a, a cheapo movie. Cool. Because that's what we do. And then I make... That's sweet to have a tradition. We don't have a tradition. We have a tradition, but we don't have a kid at home anymore, so we can totally have traditions again yeah. that don't involve our kid. Yeah. But now I've yeah, had to continue. It's a hard night to get a babysitter. No, it is. And I have to continue this tradition now that because my son still lives at home. He's just never around. But several years ago, I made a heart-shaped meatloaf with a bacon lattice over the top of it. Cute. For my husband. Yeah. For Valentine's dinner. 
Because Valentine's Day, we don't actually go. We go like the weekend. If Valentine's Day falls on a weekend, that's fine. But we'll do it Saturday night mm-hmm. instead of Sunday. Yeah, night. that's kind of what we do whenever we can. Yeah, but yeah, he. So the year that I made the meatloaf, the first time, my son and all of his friends were still in high school, and none of them had girlfriends, so they were having dudes Valentine's Day, dude. I can't remember, dude and times. I can't remember what they called it. <laughs> but they came over and I said, well, you know, they came, August came home with his friends and I'm like, I made meatloaf. Do you want some? There was zero meatloaf left after that. It was like a plague of fucking locusts dropped into our kitchen. They even, you could like see scrape marks on the sheet that I cooked it on where they had Rude. scraped the, like, the oh. crunchy bits off. And Kurt goes, God damn, I was really looking forward to meatloaf sandwich. Yeah. Guess I'm not going to get one of those. No. Oh, I, yeah, I'm not, I So like, now yeah. I said this year, I was talking to my son about it and I'm like, so Kurt and I are going out for Valentine's Day, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, wait, are you not doing the meatloaf? Because that's tradition now because I make <laughs> oh. it every year. So apparently Sunday I will still be making on actual Valentine's Day. I will still be making the meatloaf. Wow. So I'll make the meatloaf. I'll make the cookies. And I'm going to make Scratch Off Valentine's. Yay! Because they're really fun. Totally. Yeah. So I don't, do you remember what episode it was that we talked about the Scratch Off, making our own Scratch Offs? Mm-mm. It was we a long time it? ago. We brought it up and then I said, we're going to do an episode about this because you made some after we did that. You, Yeah. Yeah. So we were talking about it, but, but it was like last spring or something. I think it was one of the first episodes that you were Maybe it was a... hosting on. Cause I remember thinking, Oh, how funny a Valentine's day one. I think you could we send came a dirty up with the idea. With like That's when we came up with the idea for you this can episode. Scratch off. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I think I want to do? What? I think I'm going to put like people bodies Mm-hmm. Like, cause I have an old Playboy yeah. that I cut stuff out of, but then I'm gonna put like a cat head on top. <laughs> nice. So they have cat face. Nice. And then they have to scratch off scratch to see off. the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so dirty. You meant cat, right? You yeah. Meant cat pussy. I mean, <laughs> no, I meant pussy pussy with the cat face. I know. I'm just trying to... I don't know. She's trying to make me not dirty, and I'm dirty. That's just the way I am. But yeah. Yeah, because I went home, because I thought this was such a funny idea, so I went home, and we have this wrapping paper that has, like, photos of butts. I don't know. It's, like, these 70s-style, cheesy uh, pictures of butts. They are weird pictures of butts. Yeah, they're, like, the Vaseline lens kind. But, um... God damn it, now I'm so, singing, I like big butts and I cannot lie. I thought it would be funny to paint scratch off panties on the butt. Yeah. Yeah. And it was and it worked and yeah, it's good stuff. So you don't have to be dirty, but we're going to talk about different ideas <laughs> soon. But you could create a prize and be like, yeah. what's, what's your prize going to be? Well, let's tell, let's tell people how you make your own scratch off. Okay. Because it's pretty simple. It is pretty simple. Yeah. It really is. I was going to do some experimenting because there are a couple of ways that I've I've seen that you can do it. <clears throat> but I'm out of packing tape and that is what you yeah. need for one of the ways. So I'm still going to do that. I just didn't have it ready for this recording day. But mm-hmm. I'll put a little tutorial up. I think this is one where I'm going to make a tutorial. We'll just do a little tutorial. Cool. And put it on the blog or on the on our website. For this episode, Gosh, because part of I keep thinking it's me, people uh, texting me, but um, <clears throat> so it's equal, it's two parts acrylic paint to one part dish soap, correct? Yes. So that's that's the first step. You mix. That's how you make the paint that you can scratch off. Two part acrylic paint. Mm-hmm. One, one part, part soap, like dish so, soap. So I would use like teaspoons probably to measure it. Unless you want to eyeball it. I don't know. Is it something you can probably eyeball? It's not I did. Yeah. I used a little shot glass and just kind of yeah. eyeballed oh my it. God. I'm like a fucking snot machine, Lonnie. Aww. I'm sorry. And I happen to have, at that time, I had clear dish soap. And I'm not sure if a colored dish soap would probably if No, because it looks like they're using like Dawn dishwashing liquid in a lot of these. So Okay. So it's not yeah, going to affect. It's not the... going to really affect the color, I don't think. Okay. 
And a lot of people use metallic paint. I think mm-hmm. you, but some, you can use whatever color paint you want. It doesn't have to be metallic mm-hmm. at all. I used pink for mine for pink panties. Pink underpants. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, that's one of those words. I meant underpants. I say panties, Sorry. too. I know. it's Some people I ugh, say cringe undies. at that word. I, we yeah. use undies a lot in our yeah. house. My husband calls them skivvies. Skivvies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Undergarments. Undergarments. <laughs> underwear. I don't like the word underwear. Yeah. Of course, under- that's what it is. You underwear? wear it under your other wear. <laughs> Seriously, you guys, this is so simple. All you mm-hmm. do, there are two methods of doing this yourself. Mm-hmm. Also, I just want to mention, if this is something that you're not interested in doing yourself, you think it's going to be a pain in the ass, you can't get it to work, whatever, you can buy scratch-off stickers that you put over the top of something. Oh, and it's a clear sticker. Yeah, it's a little clear yeah, disc, and it has okay. a scratch-off paint, and you can scratch it off. Just look up scratch-off stick, scratch stickers. So you can buy those to add to your Valentine's or whatever if you don't want to do it this way. Okay. I think this is cool, though. Yeah. I think it's really clever. Because you get to choose the color and the shape. And people are like, the what? Shape. You did this? This is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And depending on how, like, how intricate you want to be you could get really like do an actual painting that people want to that people scrape off or you know whatever Ooh, yeah or like an i spy thing with spots i don't know like yeah you could it's fun so the gist of it is though you you just put clear packing tape down over the part that you want to be revealed Mm -hmm. by the scratch off and then you paint that mixture of two parts acrylic paint and one part dish dish soap over the top of the tape. Mm-hmm. One tutorial I saw recommended you could t- tape it off with painter's tape if you wanted like an exact square mm-hmm. or, you know, an exact shape. So then it can be very crisp lines. Mm-hmm. Um, or if you, you don't have to do that either. <laughs> <You know>? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I so didn't. Lonnie. I just winged it. <laughs> well, and, the, and the other way that I saw, and I'm going to look this up. Or I'm going to, this is why I want to try it and do an experiment because I want to see which works better. People just used a wax resist crayon, like a clear, a clear oh, crayon. Okay. Or I would think yeah. it's just paraffin wax. You just color well, well, over the picture with the wax and then paint over the top of that. Yeah. I'm going to experiment and see which works best. Yeah. And, and report my findings. Give my recommendations. Yeah. It depends probably, yeah, on what the image your what it's on Mm -hmm. like if it's a delicate paper you might want the packing tape for the strength so you don't scratch the image off too Mm -hmm. or whatever you know but yeah if it was on a sturdier surface oh totally yeah i don't know but cool yeah see how that works i am i'm gonna i'm gonna mess around with it i'll do a little video i'm gonna do a video reveal of the scratching off too so you guys can see about it see what you think about it um, but yeah, so that is straightforward. That's it. Yeah. That's how you do so it. so simple. Like, yeah. So Lonnie used wrapping paper. She said she had wrapping paper with butts on it. <laughs> yeah. And made underpants <laughs> over the butts. Um, but I wanted to kind of go through different ideas of things that we could do. We did find some scratch off Valentine ideas. Like, um, <clears throat> someone used those little, the tickets. Like, you know what I mean? Like raffle tickets, the little tear off kind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They used raffle tickets and made a little Valentine out of them. And so you open it up and then scratch it off to see what you won. Cute. I think that that's a really cool idea to like do like maybe naughty lottery tickets. Mm-hmm. So you like scratch off. Although it wouldn't be funny if they weren't winners. <laughs> yeah. Be like, sorry. Hey, it's a lottery. <laughs> no guarantees. <laughs> It's you and your hand tonight. Yep. <laughs> you and your hand. <laughs> but you could do like, I don't know, we're naughty, so we're doing naughty stuff. But I, I'm i going to make some, though, for my whole family. So th- those will not be naughty, the ones that I send to my mom and my grandma with their heart cookies. That's cute. Yeah, because I was thinking for an intimate, I mean, if you were like, if I was really confident about my body and I had like nude shots of myself. Mm-hmm. To send those to your lover with mm-hmm. scratch and then, off, like, paint you know? like a bikini on, yeah, so you can paint off. lingerie on yourself or something. I mean that that'd be kind of cool, I think. But you know, 
I will, I don't have any nudes of myself, so. Oh, God, neither do I. Since my man has a sense of humor, though, I might do one of the butt ones, because yeah. thought that wrapping paper was funny, so. Dude, I just had this whole idea while you were saying that, is you could get, like, Princess Leia, a picture of Princess Leia in her gold bikini, but mm-hmm. then paint her robe on her. Oh, yeah, and scratch and we'll off just scratch the robe. it off, and then we'll be, like, naked. Or you yeah. could get a picture of Yoda, but you could put, like, <laughs> you could put, like, you could a naked body a underneath there, <laughs> and so, so they funny. scratch off Yoda's robe. <laughs> That's it's so... like, naked Yoda. That's so hilarious gross oh my god that's funny or you like make a sexy lady body yeah under yoda's robes yes (laughs) oh my god hilarious (laughs) yes oh my god i'm so sorry i cannot stop coughing this would be a very interesting gender reveal card too right because like scratch off the diaper what's under there baby penises i don't like that idea but you're oh, right no. it'd be a very european gender reveal i don't know <laughs> what the fuck is i'm just a sidebar what the fuck is with all the gender reveal party shit that people i don't are know doing that was days? not a thing no it wasn't mm-hmm. a thing pinterest maybe I th- i'm I don't guessing know. it's pinterest's fault yeah like is your cake gonna be blue or pink yeah i know i I didn't have that. I'm sorry. Total sidebar. <laughs> My friend's baby's just turned a year old, his twins. Aww. And he just texted me this picture and said, what a difference a year makes. And it's his daughter with the, <laughs> her fingers so fucking far up her nose. <laughs> I'm sorry. Aww. He says, I'm so damn proud of how far she's got her finger in there. It's not even funny. <laughs> She's oh my god i shouldn't have looked brain. at that when, while we were recording but i couldn't help it so you could do like like i said you could do scratch off tickets with i don't know with like sexual favors or like just like you know a foot rub or a mm-hmm. trip to the wherever are you a secret admirer and to reveal who oh, yeah. it is you have to scratch oh, it off that's a good idea too yeah <laughs> Or you can put your <coughs> phone number under the scratch off part. Or yeah. <laughs> or even like some people I've, I've noticed this is not for Valentine's day, but um, if you have a little business and you wanted to have a Valentine's sale, people use the scratch off. They're taking their like printing off mm-hmm. 15% off, 10% off, 20% off or whatever for their little stores, <clears throat> storefronts. And then you do the scratch off and it tells you how much you get. Yeah. Get off of your purchase or whatever yep that'd be kind of fun to do yeah on a small scale like if you were like you know just a mom and pop store or whatever or even if you have an online store that's that is true or if you had like people that you wanted to make something for this is i'm kind of stretching here but like say you sent out a few valentines and some of them somebody's gonna get one that they get cookies or they get this or that i don't know and then and they could scratch off to redeem. Yeah. And then they'd have to tell you, though, I got the one that said cookies and then, okay, I'll make you cookies. I don't know. That's that's kind of cute, though. <laughs> or if you were, like, having, you could do them, like, <clears throat> an invitation to, like, a party or a Valentine's party. And so they scratch off and then it's, like, they get a special party favor. Depending on what they scratched off or yeah, something like that. Okay, yeah. You do yeah. that for any kind of party. Yeah, that's true. Look at us. I know. Being inventive in our minds, <laughs> in our brains. That's right. Use it or lose it. Totally. <laughs> but see, I'm just my brain just goes back to the dirty stuff. I know. It's like we were talking about earlier, those pens where you flip it over and their dress falls totally. off. Or I whatever. used to fucking <laughs> like <laughs> love those. And I was such a weird dirty little kid like i when we would go places on vacation i would make a beeline for the pens to find them yeah I thought, and i, I didn't I, want the I ones so where like <clears throat> where like there was a fucking <clears throat> disney tram went from one end of the pen yeah, to the no, other no, no. i wanted the, the hula ones? girl with the boobies and <clears throat> yep totally <laughs> <sighs> whatever one time i saw one with a dude 
Oh yeah, yeah. But my their mom little smacked yeah. that out of my hand. Their little shorts She's all, come Put off. That down. <laughs> slept. But they never had pins. No, it's like they a lump. The, yeah, or like, like a... Kendall. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They always had like bikini pants or something, like bikini underwear. Or yeah. Like, what are those called? A speedo. Speedo. Yeah. Yes, that's right. They'd always have a speedo, and I was always like, "Why isn't there a wiener?" <laughs> I know, because that's all. Yeah, like really, why isn't there a wiener? Why isn't we need there? more dong? I know. I wondered what they looked like for so long. Me too. Yeah, it was. They were elusive. Because I would look at my dad's Playboys and stuff. Uh huh. There's no dong in Playboy. No, no. I knew what vaginas looked like, but yeah. I had a vagina. Yeah, so, it's like, know. well, what is? Yeah, and like Ken, I was like, okay, I know it's not like that. Yeah, Ken doll has nothing. That wouldn't be yeah no we gotta get over that they were mysterious yeah they were they really were for a long time i mean and I that's have, not fair because then the I first brothers, time you see one but it's totally shocking they're like little boy wieners you know or whatever yeah but yeah no the first no, time that i saw ones, like our real yeah. penis i was like oh Whoa, like, that's what, it was a shocker what i was expecting yeah yeah, yeah. they should give us some little heads up yeah <laughs> they should just oh, heads wow. up. they should give us scratch off cards yeah <laughs> Be like so do you, it and then it, when you get to decide because it's a scratch off you get to decide when you really want to know yeah and then it when gives you're you ready the power. scratch the off. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes that would be awesome you could reveal so many things like that <laughs> yes. like okay when, okay kid when you're ready to know what a penis looks like well, scratch now off. with Snapchat, now they, they already know. Snapchat it, yeah. But maybe they could do virtual scratch offs where you're like, you know, a guy wants to send a dick pic, but you get to decide whether yeah. you look at it or not. I'm so glad things weren't what dick pics. <laughs> I know. I know. What is up with that? But it, they see they don't live with the mystery that we lived with because, unfortunately, they know or you know they see they get. I don't know. I think it kind of. Don't you think it kind of robs them of like the, the shock of the first time you touch a penis? I don't yeah. know. Like, <laughs> yes. Or just, I don't know. I feel like we're such an instant gratification society now because everything is so right there. Mm-hmm. I kind of miss like the thrill of waiting for something. Yeah. Instead of just having it. Yeah. So the scratch off can give you that. Yes. <laughs> scratch off can give you the thrill or like if you did something really bad you could like put it in a scratch off <laughs> make it fun a fun <laughs> reveal Be like by I'm the way I, I broke your thing by the way i killed your plant while yeah. i was watching your house or your whatever your goldfish died yeah <laughs> you'd be like these things might have happened scratch <laughs> off <laughs> oh, and you can a b or c like how much truth do you want? Here's a yeah. little bit of truth. Here's some t- more truth. And then here's, here's the, the whole absolute shebang. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. Or like a little <laughs> choose your own adventure type card. Wow. Where you like, so and so went to the store and she opened this door opened oh, this yeah. shelf and or whatever like pick a line the door line one two or three scratch. and then you scratch it and then you go to the next one and then it tells you that would be awesome yeah or have yeah like have the next three lines be different and but you they're all covered up so you pick the line you want to scratch off and then yeah. then continue from there and totally yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's cool yeah That'd be fun. You could do like a little Valentine's book. Yeah. An erotic story. Yeah. <gasps> An erotic choose your own adventure story. Yeah. I wonder if they have those books. An erotic choose your own adventure? Yeah. I don't know, but um, million dollar idea. Hello. Giving Pretend it away you on the didn't podcast. hear that. I know. <laughs> um, Pretend wow. you didn't hear that. <laughs> That's a really cool idea, actually. Because my son, we, well, even when I was a kid, my brother. Abe used to devour the Choose Your Own Adventure books. Yeah, oh, me too. I loved those. I could never find ones that were about topic matter that I enjoyed. It was always, they were very slanted towards... Dude-centric. Yeah. So it was like, I found some that were like fantasy stories. See, I would have loved that because fantasy and sci-fi was my jam. Mm -hmm. But these were all, like, I never, 
I think my brother they had some very spy ones. Dudes. Yeah. And like girls only read about. But the erotic idea. Kitties, oh my gosh, but the erotic like, one. Because, yeah. wow. I mean, what are you going to do? And then. If, if I could write that, about. This if, is I, happen, if I were if capable of writing erotica without like. Giggling. Having the giggle fits. Yeah. Because. You know, because it's so funny to say like heaving breasts. And I stuff. know. Like, I can't even read that shit yeah, without no. laughing. Like I'm yeah. not someone that gets off on that kind of stuff. No. I just laugh. Yeah. Like it I remember funny. in high school. Well, I think maybe late <laughs> middle school. My friend Bree was reading Clan of the Cave Bear. Oh God! And there's some sexy times yeah. in that book. Yeah. yeah. And I remember her reading something. She's like. I was reading over her shoulder and she was very mature for her age. Like she was always really quiet and reserved and mature. And I read like the word pubic mound over her shoulder. And I'm like, why are you reading? Oh my God. I was like <laughs> laughing so hard. And then I had to read the books because, yeah. but I just skipped through to the sexy times. And then I was like horrified and stopped reading them because I realized that my grandpa reads those books. Those were like one of his favorite books. And I was like, ew, I'm oh. reading about the same sexy stuff that my grandpa's reading about. This is gross. I remember my mom reading that book. And another, a Judy Bloom book that she wouldn't let me look at. What? Wifey or something? Oh, yeah, because she did write adult yeah. stuff. My mom's like, that's my book. You can't. And then, of course, like, I wanted to read it. But it's fucking Judy Bloom. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Because you're all, it's we, not must, super fun. we must, we must increase our buzz. <laughs> yeah. Because, come on, who yeah. didn't read that shit? I yeah. love Judy Bloom. Yeah, me too. Judy Bloom and who wrote So I was like, how can books? you have a Judy Bloom book that I can't read? That's no. Not... She she writes adult stuff. Yeah. I read one of her Summer Sisters, maybe? Something like that. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah. It was an okay book, but it was kind of weird. Because you're used to the, yeah, the yeah. kid stuff. Yeah, wrote, I felt yeah. betrayed. Yeah. Because it was kid shit. Was that a Judy Bloom book where the kid had a radio and his tooth and his filling would pick up radio signals? I don't think so. Okay. But who wrote the who wrote the other books that like the Super Fudge and the I thought that uh, was Judy Bloom. No. Why? Oh, okay. Whoops. It was uh forgive me people. A son of a gun. Lonnie, look that up. I know. Because I'm gonna it's gonna drive me nuts. I thought it was She's why? local. And like the Ramona Quimby and like all of that shit. Super Fudge might have been Judy Bloom, but there were two that I was really into. But the point is, okay, good. It was Judy Bloom. Yes, she wrote. But the who Super wrote Fudge. the other ones? Which one? Like Ramona, the Ramona Quimby books, oh, and like that um... shit, and the Tales of a Fifth Grade Nothing, and <laughs> all that crap. Or it's me, Margaret. Or no, are you there? God, it's me, Margaret. It was Judy Bloom? That's okay. the one with the must increase your bust. Okay. 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 We're totally getting off track here. But let's face it. How much can we fucking talk about Scratch Off? Beverly Valentine's? Cleary. Beverly Cleary. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, she She's was the, the other, other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They were, but the point is, those, those were some good books. Those were really good books, but mm-hmm. I feel like the, the books were either like, so we had a choice when we were kids. They were either like Judy Bloom wrote about more serious stuff, but I think they were more geared toward girls, like girl problems. They were about mm-hmm. periods and mm-hmm. boobs and people picking on you and being yourself which is all stuff that we needed to hear Mm -hmm. but i feel like other books were written for little boys Mm -hmm. with like exclusively yeah it's where girls would be it'd be really hard to relate i remember the first time i read the lord of the rings books yeah the librarian at our school said oh those are boys books you won't like those these books do not have i'm like what genitals right just books i was totally mortified yeah and horrified I and, the well and then it's like what if you tell me i can't read something like you like the book that your mom had it makes yeah, you want to read it that's like well now i'm reading it totally and maybe i'll grow a penis but oh well i'm reading my it might. anyway i'm taking that risk might yeah <laughs> what if i want to yeah <laughs> fucking jerks <laughs> I know, seriously, that stuff we is can so make lame. Insult scratch off cards. <gasps> you could like Do you want to know how I really feel about yeah. you? Scratch. Roses here. are red, violets are blue. Scratch this off to see what you should do, and they'll be like, suck a bag of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs>
<laughs> we could be fucking rich. Oh my god, we're giving everybody all of our goods. I, <laughs> I could totally see those cards selling like hotcakes at like Spencer's or at like. Uh, we're like, look what I found in your yard today. Mine. Like a dog poop. <laughs> I wanted to leave you something on your doorstep. A bag of flaming dog shit. Like. <laughs> you a greeting the- for you. A bear butt. <laughs> <laughs> you are the sty in my eye and the poo on my shoe. <laughs> oh my god. I swear to god, we are completely sober. <laughs> Valentine's Day just brings out the romantic, (laughs) brings out the romantics in us, apparently. I just coughed so hard I peed a little, sorry. So much love. So much love. Lonnie, if you could see the pain expression on Lonnie's face right now, it's killing me. (laughs) All right, kids, and what I'm going to make my son's Valentine, it's going to say roses are red, violets are blue. And then he's going to scratch it off and say, clean your fucking room. ramifications of these things like yeah. the possibilities are endless <laughs> yes because there's it's it is the element of surprise that you get to have with this so you can yeah. totally you can run catch with people it. off guard yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i shouldn't talk about this on the podcast but... or like underneath the scratch up it just says send help <laughs> or something <laughs> If this fan's a rockin', <laughs> send help. <laughs> what is happening to us? That's the best bumper sticker ever. in your ears <laughs> oh my god i'm sorry i'm crying i might be not my eye. <laughs> oh my gosh oh, my tummy hurts i know that's a good ab workout our dog is looking at my dog's looking at us like he, now he's, he's like if i get one of those valentines i'm gonna fucking eat it <laughs> totally is <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> now I try to think of mean things that I can say to my I family know. for Valentine's Day. What's wrong with me? I'm totally doing the clean your fucking room one for my son. <laughs> yes. It's rad. It is so rad. I like the truth. I like the truth scale reveal. Like, <laughs> how much truth do you want? A, B, or C? Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Or you could just give him a card and be like, this is the chore you're doing for me for Valentine's Day, like a scratch off. Yeah. So they scratch off, they have to clean the bathroom. If they scratch off, clean the bathroom. Yeah. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Or, scratch off chore chart. Or you owe me, then you can scratch off like a new pair of shoes. Or... <laughs> too funny. Oh um, my God. That okay. was too much. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> so... I didn't know it was going to go there. No, it just kind of went there. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I got a workout. I feel like I did too. Oh my I can't God. even see. My eyes are so blurry. Okay, we're good. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to make, I'll post pictures of the Valentines that I make. And actually, I've meant to, I haven't even told the people in our mail art group. We're going to do scratch off Valentines for our February mail art oh, oh so. so we can incorporate some of yeah. these ideas 
Maybe. Roses are red, maybe not. violets are blue. Suck a bag of dicks. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Okay. I forgot the rest Lonnie's of Lonnie's trying to like zen out right now because she can see that it's coming again. The giggles are happening. <clears throat> yeah. But I will be posting pictures of the cards that I make for my family. Lonnie, are you going to make some scratch off Valentine's? Yeah, I think so. Pictures. Yeah, I think the butt one was pretty funny. So yeah, and I, I am going to do, I'll do a tutorial. I'll do a little video of the scratch off reveal and which, which method I feel like works better. Like the tape method or the wax. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Is it almost like the sound of the wax resist method better if it works better? Because then I feel like, I feel like you won't have this like tape, like the smooth tape change in elevation or you don't have to cover the whole thing with tape. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. So I want to look at look into that and see if it works just as well. Mm -hmm. And then I, I just had another random idea. What like is your random idea? You could have like three or four symbols, you know, squares they scratch off and there's it reveals a symbol and then they you could have little envelopes with those symbols on it and then inside could be the prize or the message that corresponds with the Yeah. Symbol they scratch off. Dude, you could do anything with this shit. Yeah. Seriously. It's so fun. It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> this is gonna Next, be a Next we're gonna see our fucking card ideas at like Hallmark and shit. I know, someone's gonna steal our shit. Yeah. Fine. Damn it. Whatever. Whatever. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we get some royalties because we can prove it. Yeah, that's true. Right. This is time stamped. Yeah. People. Right. <laughs> fucking a <laughs> anyway um check our website we're gonna have the pinterest board for this episode and all of the pictures and tutorials that i just said we were gonna have and if you guys make some please send us pictures we want to yeah, see yeah share, share with us and yes. then we'll share with the rest of our listeners because it'll be an awesome time yeah have a happy valentine's day call and tell us some valentine's messages I know. Give us some love at 503-395-7190. I feel like I'm, I felt like a robot right just now. then. I don't I know. know. I just like, I totally forgot to give you our email addresses, two artsy gals at gmail.com. Email us pictures, email us ideas. If you have some funny ideas about, about Valentine's. See, then we went from sweet Valentine's from naughty valentines actually to just being assholes but you know it's what we do <laughs> yeah <clears throat> it's how we are yeah <laughs> um so subscribe to us on stitcher and itunes and you can have a fresh episode in your ear holes immediately as soon as i upload a new episode every week which mm -hmm. is turning out to be fridays now yeah so i think we're pretty steady on fridays that works. It does. Mm -hmm. It totes works. Your week's over. You're like, yay! It's yeah. Friday. We could two arts of gals it up. Yep. <clears throat> Get some ideas for shit to do over the weekend. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Like totally. make some scratch off Valentines. Yeah. That can be kind, rude, crude, or whatever you choose. Yeah. Dirty. Dirty. Mean. <laughs> mean. You could reveal to your Dirty. neighbors how much you hate mean. them or something. <laughs> But it's a valentine, so then they can't be mad because you gave them a valentine. Yeah, and you put some effort into it because you right. made it a scratch-off. Right. I mean... Come on. Yeah. I'm kind of excited to see where people go with this. Like, like yeah. for our meal art group. Yeah. And I'm totally making some over the weekend. That's so funny. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Next week, hopefully... Wait, I want to go back and look at our episodes because I think... Oh, next week we're going to talk about... um. Pop can tabs. Oh. Because I have a metric fuck ton of pop can tabs in oh. my garage and I've been wanting to do stuff with them because what I've I have been putting them, them for... in the recycling with the cans. Well, I'll get into this next week, but okay. someone <clears throat> gave me some that they had saved. So I have a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. And what I had originally planned to do with them did not pan out. So now I'm like, what do I do with all of these? So we have some ideas about that mm -hmm. and they're pretty fucking cool. I'm going to glue one to the back of my diorama so I can hang it on the wall. That is the best tip ever. Yeah. You can make picture hangers out of them. Mm -hmm. So tune in next week to learn more stuff that you can do with them. And until then, go make some cool shit, yo. Do it now.